Hello everybody, this is Nikki Zick, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part two of my Painted Watercolor Dog series. This series will be about German Shepherds. Here I have one barking and howling, and then another just relaxing and laying on his belly. This was really a fun project to do because of the dark contrast of the colors. You got to see the, the dog shape. I tried some other positions and poses, but as you see, this is cute, playing dead, just front view. I really like the side view and the laying down one, and I got my reference on my Google, as you can see here. There's this one and this one that I have, but we're going to follow along with my final art that I just finished. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, right now I'm using an orange and a brown. And I mixed a nice rust color. Maybe a little bit more paint. So I have for both of them. I mixed it with brown and orange. And make it a right and thin consistency. A little more brown. A little more water. It's all in the key. The right amount of water and color. Dab off. And we're going to start with the one howling at the, at the moon. So you start off with the nose. And then one ear. And then a second ear. And then you go arch down the back. And then the tail. And then here... It's the mouth, you come in for his chest, or out for his chest, in for the leg, fill in the body while it's all wet, get a little more paint, do the hind leg, the paw coming out, and then the front legs, and paws, do a little triangle, and then the back leg. In the front comes out a little bit further and right now we're just doing the silhouette of the dog and then we'll add the details later of the black and a deeper rust color okay that's dog number one I'm liking the way it looks so far and now we'll go to the dog laying down so dab off your brush Start with his snout, or, or front nose, I should say. And then the front paw goes alongside. And then one ear, two ears, and then an arched back. The belly, a little more paint for the hind leg. And then this... Dog has a long tail around. You can bring in the face a little, but we'll be adding black. But that's the second dog. A little bit smaller, but he's relaxed on his belly. So as we're letting these dogs dry, I'm going to get into my black paint. And for the black, I'm gonna, I don't want to use it straight out of the tray or out of the pan. I'm going to mix in some water and dilute it so that way it's a softer black when I go over the rust color. Okay, let's test it out if it's dry. Dab off the brush because now I want to do detail. We're going to do the top of the nose, go down the mouth, and then the German Shepherd has black around its eye. Then do detail around each ear. Grab a little more black. And now we're going to do, go down, follow the curve, up the tail. And now we're going to go up at the neck, come in, go around that first leg, 
go in again or come out and go around the hind leg. Okay, do a little fine line up there. Go out of here. Okay, and that's the first dog. Now we'll go to the second. And as I said, the German Shepherd has a black face. So we'll do that. Actually, they're missing the little black on the here on that one. And then again, we'll start at the neck, go around the first leg and the stomach, follow the curve of the back. And then go around, sweeping for the tail. Make it come to a point. And that's our second dog. Lastly, we'll paint in some more rust accents, but it's going to be a second layer of the rust on the painting, so it's going to be slightly darker because it's overpainting. So we'll do the back leg, we'll do around his hind leg, trying not to get into the wet black. And then you could do a little line down the neck. And the ear. The same thing here now. We're just going to add little accents to the front paw, inside the ears, around the, the stomach, the back paw, and the hind leg. This is a little dark. We can remove some paint and dab off. Paint up here. Just fine tune your painting. And that's our German Shepherds. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe because I'll be doing some more dog paintings, maybe some cats.